Okay, in this video, I just want to show you how to um make payments online without your card, especially if these payments are going through um payment gateways like um Paystack or Flutterwave. So I'll quickly run that. I'll use an example with a product in Expert Naya called the Canada Relocation Blueprint. You can pay with anything. So as long as the um what do you call him now? <clears throat> the vendor is asking you to pay through Paystack or Flutterwave. Um, there's a way you can pay without your card details. A lot of people are scared of using their um, you know, their card by imputing the details of their card um on 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 the website because of fear of scam. If you have that fear, um, this is how to go about you know, if without having to impute your card, just make transfers. And I'm going to show you two options you can use without ever imputing your card details in the form. But then this is strictly if the payment, if the vendor is requesting you to pay through Paystack or Flutterwave. So let's get started. So this is um the other button for this vendor and the cost for the, the price for the cost he or she, she, she or she is selling is a he, I know the person, Victor JKD, is 37,000. So here is how to make the payment if you want to do this and you don't have to impute your card details, right? Okay, let's go. Um, So click on the order button. I hope this network um serves me well. So this is um the other button for this expert naya. This is the process for expert naya. So you have to input your name. Um, I'm going to use my name as I'm going to use my name. My first name is Chibukim. Then Onoha. Okay, let me use the one that everybody is familiar with, Gabriel. Gabriel Onoha, um, email address, I'll use Onoha Gabriel28 at gmail.com. Now, here's a challenge a lot of people face. If you put it, if there is a space, sometimes you, you put in just like this one, I can come here now and the email will pop up and I'll just select it. If you do that, most time you will have a space, as you can see in between these um, dots, come and the last this thing there's a last cursor there is a space um this um paystick is going to recognize it as a wrong email so if you're having that challenge you may be and let's leave it that way now and finish filling this form and you are going to see that there is going to be a problem with that okay um 671. I have 9671. Okay, no, sorry, 9768. So I think that's the correct number. So you choose to pay with Paystack. For the first trial, we'll do we'll do with Paystack. So let's do Paystack Naira. And then we'll try it again with Flutterwave as well. So you continue to check out. So we're going to get an error message. You can see that the error message, please enter a valid email. And the only problem is not because I don't have a valid email, it's because there's a space. Um, after the email. So I just close up this piece and you can see that the error message will disappear, right? I'm good to go right now. So you click on check out and I continue. So they, they are telling you, they are giving you assurance that um your card details, you are you're going to be required to impute card details. You're going to be required to put your ATM or bank account information, payment to be processed through Paystack secure payment system and that it is secured. So you are sure that your business are secured. That is true, but then there are still people who will still be skeptical about it. And there could also, and your, your, your skepticism is still valid because some of these systems may have errors in them or loopholes in them. So here is how you can then go ahead and proceed. Click on the, I understand this thing. So you can see it is giving us a little time to load. When it does finish loading, now here is where it comes. So originally what will pop up is this originally what will come up is here it's because i'm used to this method that's why paystack is giving me that method because that's the way i've always made payment to using paystack so the first thing you will see normally is this so you have you will not be required to impute your card details but you don't want to impute your card details or you're scared of imputing your card details so the first option is to use transfer 
And if you come to transfer, they will simply provide an account number, account number you will put. So what we do, what you need to do is either using USSD on your phone, USSD code on your phone, you can dial to send this money to this number. But you have to do that within 30 minutes after generating this number. This number is not um, spe is specific to customer. It is auto-generated and as soon as 30 minutes is over, it will become invalid. So you need to make the payment transfer direct to this number at using ussd immediately or you can use your mobile app you can use your mobile app and make the transfer however you want to make the transfer so you make this transfer if you want to go to bank you can also go to bank and make deposit to this account and all of that but then um going to bank is not really ideal in this situation because you just have 30 minutes and you can see the thing is already running down to 29 Meaning, so it's better you use your USSD or use your mobile app to make the transfer. So as soon as you do that, you it will automatically recognize the payment. But if it doesn't, you can then come here and click on I've sent the money. Now I'm not I've not sent money. I'm not sending this money. I'm just using this to show you how it is done. So if this one is not okay for you, if you're using, you can then use USD, USSD. Unfortunately, Paystack only recognizes USSD. This in, for now, they have only been using GTB. So it is only GT that will appear, only GT. So if you're using GT, this is um, another option that you have. So you can just simply dial this code from your phone. As long as you have this amount in your bank account, it will debit you for this amount and it will automatically recognize your payment. No card details required nothing so that's just um that's just how to do this this is the pay, pay stack method and you have made this payment without having to go and um, impute your card then the next method you can use the next method you can use is um to go to your bank go to your bank and make deposit so you choose a bank now so here they have just um, Guarantee Trust Bank, CUDA, and Zenith Bank. So these are the three banks that they, they are they are using. So you simply um click any of the bank that you choose, and then um click the button below to dedicate with your bank. So um here now, or pay with this OTP, pay with uh, three uh, what do you call USSD. So when you go through this process, okay, I think this process also requires you to impute card. Because by the time you click on this authentication, it will get you to this place where you are to authenticate with your bank. So let's see what pops up. I've not used this method before, but let's see how it works. I only use the transfer method, but let's see what happens in this one. Let's see how what authentications they are looking for in the bank. Because usually where I see authentication is when you have... um. When you have, okay, so this is GT Mobile Pay, GT Pay. So um, here too, you will be required to impute account number. Okay, so here you're just putting your account number or mobile number and then enter your hardware token. So if this is for you, if you have a token or if you have um, a PIN or your 737 PIN. So th this way, you're not imputing any card details. So this is also another good option so you you get that so this is another good option you're not imputing any card details so you put your phone number then make sure the phone number is a phone number linked to the account all right or you impute your account number and then here if you're using a hardware token you input you generate a token and you put here but if you're not using a hardware token you can use your 737 pin usually a four digit number or so i think so um Yes, I think it's a four-digit number that you use in making your USSD code. So if you click it here, this is how the payment will also go through, right? Okay, but then we're not doing any of that now. So I simply, we can, this one, I really, some of you may not have um, the QR, um, whatever, on your phone. But these two methods are secure. This is the best for me. This is the one I use all the time and I don't ever have to impute um, any card details. And you can also use this one if you have, if you're using bank, if you're using, um, what do you call it, GTB. 
All right, and all that and all that. So that's these are just the two ways. So we'll go ahead now and try this same process for um what do you call it for flutter wave and see what will happen. So let's go back. I'm just going to close this and try the yes, payment was cancelled and try paying with um flutter wave. So let's go to with flutter wave naira and then all the details are still the same. I have put it and then we'll go to check out. The same warning comes up, all right, flutter wave and all that. So like we have seen before, just click understand and continue. All right. So let's see what happens and see what um, flutter wave is going to give us. So both flutter wave and paystack are payment gateways, popular payment gateways in 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 in, Af in Nigeria and Africa. So Almost the same thing. Unfortunately, for Flutter Wave, you're paying an additional fee for this payment. So you may want to consider that before you make. So for instance, I don't use Flutter Wave. As you can see, the first option it brings for me is card payment, right? Is card payment. But I don't want that. I just want bank transfer. So let's try USSD first and see how many banks are available. So you can see there are probably more banks than there are in paystack so you can choose your bank any bank of your choice you choose your bank i use access bank so their 901 code will definitely come out and so you choose access bank and let's say what happens let's see what happens if you click pay um there's supposed to be a code to show but let's see what happens if you if the if you click pay so I clicked on the pay, but I'm not seeing anything. I should be patient. Okay, I think network is poor or something like that. Let me choose another bank and see what happens. So, but ordinarily, if you're if since I'm choosing USSD, a code is supposed to flow out for me to now dial, right? So let me see. Okay. So this is um Okay, so this is the code. This is the code. And I have also gotten a message from them right away to inform me that I'm initiating a call. I think the code was also sent to me. The code was sent to me via SMS. No, this is a different thing. So not, not SMS. So what you just do is to dial this code on your phone. Enter your distance, enter your, what do you call it? your your ussd pin and then you'll be able to complete this payment you have four five minutes right now it's four 22 seconds left to complete the payment so usually that is how this one works so let's go back let's go back and try the transfer method which is um <clears throat> what i usually use okay so let's, okay, so let's go back and see the transfer method and see how it works. So like this one, so you have to go back, 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 back. Unlike, unlike um, Paystack where you have most of the features around there. So if you close something, it just closes out there. Okay. I think my network is also contributing. I believe my network is contributing to the delay. Okay, so let's um let's see what happens. All right, so let's this is back. Let's try it again. Yes, I am aware of this. So we'll continue and then this time around we'll try um bank transfer. I believe they will just give you a code where you will send. Um, an account detail where you will send the payment. So this is it. Proceed to your bank app to complete this. So they are saying you should go to your bank app, but at the same time, you can make this payment using USSD. As soon as you do the transfer, you come here and say you have done it. So look at the one in here. It says the account detail is only valid for this specific transaction. So that's what I was telling you in the other time, the other time and it will expire by 12.54 p.m. today. So it is. it will expire in one hour. I'm doing this video 
11 55 a.m and they are saying it will expire in one hour time so that is just to say so that is how you do this you don't have to make any um you don't have to make any um you don't have to impute any card details so that's how to you know go around this payment but i'm not making any payment now i've just wanted to show you how you can do this in, in case you're afraid of using what do you call it um using um <clears throat> imputing your card details if you have enjoyed if you have found value in this video um i mean like this video subscribe to my channel and um let's grow this community i this one is just just um well it's, it's all related to business but i don't do much of this i do a lot of business teaching so if you're interested in learning a lot of things about entrepreneurship marketing digital marketing and all that so you want to subscribe to my channel Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, if you want to know more about this particular course, if you're interested in locating to Canada, you want to check out the link in the description. I'll post a, a I'll post a link to this so you where you read details of all of this. So you may be wondering what is this, and I'm using as example. So if that is what you're wondering, you can just come around and check it. I dropped the link in the vid in the description. Um, there is a video as you can also watch. So I, I dropped the link to all of them in the description in case you are interested. But that's not what I'm I'm showing you here. I'm just wanted, I just wanted to show you how to make payment, right? All right, see you in the next video.